What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is DJ Bolchidi, and welcome to the first episode of our tutorial series, I think, for City Game Studios. If you've clicked this video, I'm guessing you want to know how to play this game and that you've already bought it. Well, congratulations, you have just bought an amazingly fun game, which we will jump right into. Uh, first thing you want to do, of course, is click the new game option. Uh, your name is already filled in, at least the Steam account you're using is already filled in at the top there. The company name, um, this is going to be DJ Paul Chaddy's Game Dev School. Okay, um, this is just the name of your character, this is the name of your company. Next up is the game genre specialization, so what kind of games do you want to make? Mostly, it's not the only kind of game you can make. You can make all games in this game. Oh wow, that was a real hard sentence. Um, if you choose action games, you can still make a lot, all of these games, but it'll be harder. Your focus will be on the action games. All your information and all your tips and tricks will be in the action. You have to relearn everything for the other games. So. Choose wisely. For this tutorial, we are going to go for adventure games. Number of competitors, I'll leave it at five. Difficulty, let's start off with easy. Because this is a tutorial, so um, we'll start off easy. Next up, we'll get to choose what we look like. Um, now, I have a longer hair, so let's pick this one. I am as white as a white boy can be. Um, let's wear this black sweater vest with some black pants. And that's it. It's just the basic, basics for starting off the game. Once you're done with that, we are going to click on Start. And the game will load. And don't forget to take a coffee break. That's uh, really true. Alright, ready to relive the epic history of video games from its very beginning? Welcome to City Game Studio. Get started and create your first game. Right, so we start off, let's pause the game, we start off by ourselves in a small little apartment with just a computer, a bookcase, a plant and a garbage can. What we want to do is we want to create a game. We do that by clicking on the little plus sign over here, which brings us to this very complicated screen. Well, it's not that complicated, everything speaks for itself. We want to make a game, so we'll select a theme. Up here we can see what's trending and what's not trending at the moment. But good to know is that if you hover over it with your mouse, you can see all the genres and what they are doing. Um, my advice is not to start with the top one. Science fiction is going to be the genre where everyone is going to jump to. Um, go somewhere be so something a little lower. But it's trending upwards, like Pirates. 53, it has a plus 7. It is going up quickly. So we'll make a pirate-themed game. Uh, let's see, Pirate is over here. I will name the game... Yeah. We'll just name it ourselves. Let's name it Booty, because it is a pirate game. We can only select the indie game right now, because we only have one employee. If you have more employees, we can make bigger games. Now the studio we do is home, it's the only studio we have at the moment, and this is the points that we have. We are three and a half stars in design, development and polish, so that balances out perfectly. Next up is the system we want to use. We only have one system on the market right now, that's the Ulysses. It has a 100% market share, so we are going to use that one to make our game. Let's start making the game. That ringy ringy bell bell sound that we hear, that is our mailbox. We bought the license for Ulysses for 500 bucks. Okay, that's good. Let's unpause the game. And you'll see these three going up in a bit. Design, development, polish. See, there we go. It's all two now. You want to keep those as close to each other as possible. Okay. 
Design. Design phase of the game. The game has three phases it has to go through before it's finished. I'll we'll start off in the design phase. The green bars shows you what's the sweet spot for uh, this type of game, for an adventure game. The sweet spot is in the green bars. It might vary for uh, other genres of games. An action game could have the characters down here and gameplay up there. Because you need to act fast in action games. Adventure games is more story focused, so the characters are more important. So let's move them all the way up, but still stay in the green. Graphics are also very important for adventure games. Let's hit next. We are not that quick in making video games, so I'm going to speed up the time. We are going to announce the game to the press. And once you do that, you'll get an email. DigiPolicyD's Game Dev School has just revealed their new game, their new next game, Booty. It will be available on Ulysses. Fans are excited, so say we all. Wish you the best for the game. Okay, so design is going up to 10 now. And once we done that, we are going to the next phase, the development phase. As you can see, I don't know how important physics and artificial intelligence is for this game, so I don't have a green bar here and I have to guess. So I'm guessing physics is not that important and AI is not very important as well. Sound, though, seems to be, seems to me to be important for an adventure game, so I'm gonna put that all the way to the edge of the green. And we'll hit next again. Let's see if we can get the design or the development up to 15 as well. That would be good. Come on, Paul. Come on. Work your butt off, will you? Nah, not even close. So, next to polish. The final version or the final stage of this game is polish. Animation that seems to be important to me. Optimization. I want the game optimized for the system it's working on, and the artwork is going to be important for me at least as well. So let's go next. Let's see if we can polish it up all the way to 10 at least. Come on. Ah, so close. So close. Ring, ring. A virus has unleashed. A new virus has been unleashed. It only targets the video game companies. It seems odd, but it slows down cursors and randomly reboots computers. This will have certainly an impact on the productivity of your employees. Only home is being attacked. Home is our office where we in where we are in now. Let's delete this. Let's see how we did. Uh, booty, our first game, we're not going to charge 10 bucks for that. We are going to charge around 5 bucks because it is our first game. We don't know how good it is if we keep it at five bucks where people will buy it. So let's release the game. Congratulations. You have made your first game. You can now proceed to a post-mortem in order to help you evaluate its development, design and polish. Let's do that. Let's go to post-mortem. It's in the uh, section right here. You can see post-mortem with a one behind it. There's one game that you can research. If you do that, You'll get more tips to make the game better next time. And here are the reviews. 76, 78, 70 and 76. That's quite decent for a first game. Let's see what the verdict is. DJ Apologies Game Dev School tries new combos and it works for them. This is an excellent pirate adventure game. It's a great team. They shine on all sides. Nice. We have our post-mortem as well. Here's what we have learned to manage optimization. So we'll have a green bar for optimization now, the next time we do that. Match between pirate and adventure is an excellent match. That is good. And we'll have a green bar for physics now as well. Well, that is good. Let's see how sales are doing. In the first week, we made 54 fans. You can see our fan base right here. Uh, Booty has created 54 and we only have 54 because it's our first game. It has sold 
26,000 copies in the first month and 11,000 copies in the second month. So we made over $200,000 for a game that cost us under 20,000. So that's, that's pretty decent, I'd say. Um, we see that I am getting a bit tired. This blue bar is my energy. We are getting a bit tired, so we are going on a holiday. We did not have the option to go on a holiday net. Damn it. Then we just make a new game. Let's see what else is on the rise. Fantasy is on the top. Archaeology is going up. Religious. Atlantis. Let's do Atlantis. Uh, where are you, Atlantis? There you are. And this game is gonna be... Aqua, Mister. Gonna be another indie game and a home studio. Still only have this Ulysses system, so we'll just start the game. Characters we want up there. Gameplay we want up there. Graphics we want up there. Let's start the game. This is all the same. You know the drill. We have email, we have the sales report. You'll get the sales report every month after you release a game. Uh, booty sales are doing well. I believe this will improve sales by 20% next week or next month. So that's good. We have another email. Sales report again, 15% up in the next month. These get annoying real quick. So after you've seen a couple of them, you might want to turn them into spam. Design is up to 16. You've seen we have leveled up on the first game. So we do now do... We now do a better job at designing games. Physics needs to go up there. AI can go a bit down. In my opinion, and sound can go up. Let's hope that we can get the AI gouge in the next uh, post-mortem. Let's develop, uh, announce the game, talk to the press. Let's see what they think. Yes, Aqua Mister has been announced. We know we just did that ourselves. See, development is going way above nine this time. Which is a good thing. You want these three numbers close together. Okay. Uh, Booty has been taken off the market. It cost us 7,000. It made us 309,000. Those are odds that I like a lot. I'm not kidding. That's that's a real good value. Okay, animation. We want that up there. Optimization. Yes, please. Ours work can go up as well. Oh, let's do it. Let's see if we can get the polish up to 18 and 19 as well. Nah. Not gonna happen. Well, at least we have two close to each other. Um... Second game, and this is gonna be what seven bucks? Let's do seven. You look up there, and there's a whole world waiting for you outside. We can now visit the map, and we can buy furniture. Cool, but let's go to the postmortem first. Reviews are in. 79, 81, 81, and 87. Oh wow, those are some. Pretty decent scores. Did you bulge these game that's cool? Drives new combos, that's still the same. Yes, we have made a real good game. Wow. Okay, let's go see what we can buy. Um Let's get our productivity up a bit by buying another bookshelf and let's place it over there. We might want we might want a coffee machine as well. So that we can get our energy up. I don't know if it works like that, but in my mind it works like that. Match between Atlantis and Defenders, good. AI, we have got our green AI bar, so that will help us out a lot in the next game. And match Adventure and Ulysses is an excellent match. That is good to know as well. Let's go to the map. Here you'll see the city map. All the studio symbols are empty studios that we can rent later on. And all these are our competitors. Mechaware, UbiHard, 4K Games. There should be two. Circle Enix. There should be one more somewhere. 
Oh, there it is. He's so he's growing, producing more games. You need to recruit. Yeah, we can recruit. Okay. Resting is the last um, game studio. So let's go back home. Sales report, sales report. We are going to mark these as a spam because I am getting tired of these. Uh, Wataki 2600 should be coming real soon. So a new system for us to play around with. Aquamister, what were the first month sales? 46,000 units sold in the first month. That is pretty good. And that is how we made one million dollars. With just two games. Look at that. We made over one million. <laughs> well, that is just awesome. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for the first tutorial. I hope... And this helps you out a lot. I hope you enjoy playing this game as much as I did. I love playing this game. And um, if you have any other things that you struggle with in this game, things that you want to know and learn about this game, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a video about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like because that helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.